What's going on guys, it's your boy Vega and today we're going to be talking about the Fear of God Essentials wood hoodie. Now this hoodie right here, I wasn't expecting to like it as much, but it turns out that I do like it for several reasons, especially in the sizing area. So if you want to talk about sizing, if you want to hear everything that I have to say, go ahead and stay tuned because I have a lot to say for this hoodie specifically. It seems like every single drop, there's definitely some changes going on some of them being tailored, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't wanna to say too much, just stay tuned for that. But as always, I'm gonna talk about sizing quality. I'll give you my personal thoughts, and of course, show you how it looks on body as well. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and read the SKU for those that are brand new to the channel. Typically, I do this just in case you are interested in this specific model right here, and it makes it a little bit easier to find. But either way, the SKU is the following. One, nine, two, S as in Sam, U as an umbrella, two, 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 zero, five, four, F as in Frank and also the color is wood. I got this off the Essence website, which is typically where I get my stuff. Actually, I, I, I lied. You damn liar, Carlos. I got this off the Fear of God website, which by the way, it took like a week and a half for me to get, and that's a pretty damn long time, especially when Essence gives it to you for three to four days, and it's coming from Canada, so either way. Let's go ahead and talk about the hoodie. And then I don't know if you could see this on camera, but I got other colors right here because I'm gonna do a color comparison. I get that question asked a lot where, how does it compare to the taupe color, which is a popular color or the cement color? Because people wanna know the differences because to be honest with you, every time that there's a drop, you start wondering, should I get this, should I not? Is it the same as what I already have? So I'll do that as well. That way that can help you out. But let's go ahead and talk about the Fear of God Essentials wood hoodie right here. As you can see, the main thing that we're gonna go ahead and focus on right now, because it is right in your face, is the logo. And it is definitely different than other past drops. However, I like the monochrome style of this logo. It is bold, but subtle at the same time. One of the subtle differences is that by the cuff, we no longer have the 3M Fear of God Essentials um, logo. And I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of accustomed to it. I like it. I like when the light hits it, reflects. I, I like it, I like it. But we don't have it on this specific collection. We also have the typical rubber tab right there in the hood, which is in the black frosted color. And I feel that that looks very clean. This hoodie right here is a little bit different on sizing. There's quite a few differences. So let's go ahead and talk about that next. One of the biggest differences in this drop specifically is sizing. I have to say that when it comes down to the overall feel of the size in this specific hoodie is definitely different than past drops, but I'm still going to recommend that you go, check it out, go down one size. For example, I typically get extra large on other hoodies and I got a large. And I still recommend it even with the new changes that they did on the sizing on this specific hoodie. As you can see in the video right now, the hoodie on me, it looks pretty good, pretty normal. The only big difference that you kind of notice is that it's slightly a little bit more cropped. Now this might be a deal breaker for some people, uh, if you are definitely on the taller side, but I am 6'1 and it fits me pretty good. The other difference is the sleeves. The sleeves, I feel that they're not as long as other hoodies in the past. And I actually do like that a lot. It's not super baggy. I feel that they look pretty good. The hood itself, it's definitely small. If you compare it to other hoods in the past, they're much bigger. And I kind of like that because if it's raining, if it's windy, you just put it over your head and keep it moving. This one, you kind of need to like almost like pull it pretty hard to put it over your head. But when you go ahead and try this hoodie on, it fits different. It's still boxy, it's still oversized, but the hood itself doesn't match the rest of the hoodie itself, if that, if that makes any sense. Either way, I'm not mad at this hoodie at all. I really like the color, I like how it looks, and to be honest with you, I live in Florida, so I don't think that I'm gonna go ahead and put the hood on my head all the time. But for those that live up north, just keep that in mind. But 
If you don't mind that, you should be good to go. Last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about the color comparison and my final thoughts on the wood hoodie. On the right, we have the cement color. On the middle, we have the wood colorway. And on the left, we have the taupe color. And this is a question that I get asked a lot. How does it compare to this color or the other color? So this is a good way of you seeing that. The cement color definitely looks very different from the wood color. There's definitely a good contrast right there. But if you compare it to the taupe, it is within that brown family. Now the question is, you want something darker and then you choose the wood. If you want something slightly lighter than a brown, but still kind of in that brown tan hue, then you go with a taupe. But the wood color, in a nutshell is a light brown and if you like a light brown then this is definitely the way to go it's not a chocolate brown kind of how it looks on camera it looks like a lighter chocolate brown but in person it doesn't look like that so that's pretty much it on the color comparisons you do with that information as you wish but i feel that the wood color is is a good addition if you don't have a lot of brown hoodies which is kind of the reason why i went that route as well my final thoughts on the hoodie is that it's definitely a good cop if you like fear of god essentials and you gotta have every damn hoodie that they drop this is probably a good hoodie for you if you want a hoodie that represents kind of a good brown color not crazy dark but not light this is kind of a good in between brown color for those that kind of been eyeing the fear of god essentials line and you kind of been on defense about it because it feels oversized it feels too big it it just feels that it's just too much for you than your your average regular style that you normally are accustomed to then this is probably the best hoodie for you if you want to try it out because the other drops in the past were just bigger were more um, oversized and this is a good kind of happy medium so it is still oversized it is still boxy but tapered more than the other hoodies in the past if that makes any kind of sense either way if you like fear of god essentials and you like hoodies I, you know i think you should be good to go Bruh. that's pretty much it for today's video short sweet to the point as always if you enjoyed everything that i talked about today if you found it entertaining and you found it informative go ahead and help out your boys so go ahead and subscribe smash the like button it really does mean a lot and also hit that bell that way you get notified every single time i drop a video also if you're not doing so follow me on instagram at carlosvega101 i'm always updating the date and time of my videos and it's just a good little way of keeping up with me as well with that being said till next time peace